Do we start? Yeah. What do I say? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Sean Bean. Today we're gonna talk about the top three things that I have for you guys to get better in RTA. Is that the intro? You're, you're perfect. <laughs> All right, so tip number one, I think this is gonna be a little bit uh, more common sense, but a lot of people don't do is they need to watch a lot of RTA replay. Yes, before you play, you can watch all the RTA, especially on the ladder in, in game, you can just search for exactly what you wanna watch. So choose the monster that you have, watch the RTA replay of the player who used the monster, see how they lose, see how they win, and you can decide for yourself what kind of team combination you wanna go with because even though everyone have the Water Striker more nowadays, the combination can be many different things. They can pick up speed lead, follow up, damage, tanky team is everywhere and everything can be used. So watch the RTA replay in game, on YouTube, on Twitch, on my channel, off my channel, on any channel. Watch more replays. After you watch the replay, just go and play RTA. Jeez, a lot of people. They just don't play RTA to get so anxious about losing. But let me tell you something. Losing is totally fine. I lose every day. I play this game for nine years and I lose 50% of the time I play RTA. And the best player in the game, they lose 30%, 40% of the time they play. So everyone loses, so it's okay to lose. The moment you lose, you must ask yourself, why did I lose? Was I slower? Did I need wheel runes? Did I pick the wrong thing at the end? All these different questions can only be asked when you lose. So lose a little bit more and you will play RTA better. So that was tip number one. That was tip number one? <laughs> <laughs> so tip number two that I like to give on my stream all the time is to play by colors or elements. In this game, there are three main elements that you see all the time. So I call them blue, red, yellow. So if, the, if you pick a lot of blue, you're gonna get countered by yellow. If you pick a lot of red, you get countered by one blue unit. So for example, you have a draft with Vanessa, Fire Monkey, and a Verd, and they pick a Camilla at the end. You are now entirely countered by one unit, not by their team, by one unit. So it means your draft was not good. So mix different elements that you want to play. So if you start off with an Oliver, you can't be picking a Chung Pung and a Triton after that. Even though it makes sense, you have a speed lead and a stripper and a follow-up, but they are all three wind units. They pick a vert and a Nataris. And it doesn't matter what you pick at the last. You can pick two water units, but it's too late. They ban one water unit and they will overrun you because we're now too wind heavy. So if you look at the draft of more experienced player, you will see they mix two to three elements at the start and they still mix more elements at the end if it makes sense. And that way you don't get countered by one unit and your draft will be much better. Tip number three, we take a look at the roles of the unit you draft. Because when you pick five support unit, there's no way you're gonna do damage to kill them at the end. Because the goal of RT is still to beat the enemy, right? When you build your team, find a core group of unit that you wanna play with. Two or three. So for example, you're going with a control team, you wanna pick two stripper and two to three follow-up unit that have AOE control or damage or single target control. So you can't be picking four strippers. For example, you can't be picking Triton, Water Ryu, um, Jogan, even Gianna mix in there. You have four different strippers. And now they can just pick a lot of passive units and they will counter your team entirely. It doesn't matter how many strip you have. Or if you're picking only follow-up unit, if you're picking Poseidon, you're picking Rika, you're picking Belenus, you're picking Charlotte, you have zero strip and they have full, a team full of wheel runes there's nothing you can do at the start as well. So if the enemy knows what they're doing, they'll counter you very easily. So pick a variety of roles when you build your team. It goes back to tip number one that I gave, which is to watch the replay. If you watch the replay of strong players, they will pick a diversity of roles so that they don't get countered by one unit at the end that will throw, up, throw them off the entire strategy. So that's tip number three. That was excellent. I, I don't even know what you said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bonus tip. Even though I talk about elements, there are units that doesn't really care about elements. So for example, you have strong light and dark unit. There are many of them. You were given to four heroes. You were lucky enough to pull an LD Nat 5, an LD 4 star. So there are things like the Dark Blade Dancer, Verisa. She was given via Hope Heroes and she's really great at stripping. She provides good debuff to shut down the enemy as well. And when you draft a unit that has light or dark element, you don't have to worry too much about the elements of the monster the enemy is drafting. They're not really countering you because you are using a dark element unit. Or they are water unit like Molong, Wusa, Bovert, uh, the water surfer, Mouse. 
they don't exactly care about elements so they can shut down a diana they can shut down a riley and wind monkey king very very easily with their one shot damage so pay attention to those units as well and include them in your draft so even though you are drafting three water unit you might still be okay and that is all of my tip for now for rta there'll be more so you have to subscribe to the summons official channel okay huh Nah, it's okay. <laughs> Don't subscribe to me. Get out of here. That's the all.